so it's 1999 and we are playing the third test in a 1-1 tied india pakistan series pakistan is touring india after a gap of 11 years and after losing the first test by going from requiring 17 runs with four wicket in hands to losing by 13 runs the second test was won by Kumle's 10 wickets in an inning heroic. Now we stand on the eve of the second innings of the last test to be played between these two arch rivals, which also happens to be the first test in the newly inaugurated Asian Test Championship. So in short, the stakes are high. Sachin batting on 7 in front of a record 1 lakh strong crowd. And in walks the man that all the world of cricket loves to see, Sachin Tendorka. Well, we heard from Sunny before that maybe Sachin is due for a big knock. Tremendous stage for him to perform tonight. This is a very special moment. You, you can just sense from this, uh, from this crowd that's at the ground today, this is what they've been waiting for. They've seen Sachin, apart from scoring the match losing 136 in the first test, has had an unusually bad run in all the subsequent matches because of his bad back. In this match itself, he got clean bowled by Shohei Bakhtar on a first ball duck. Still, the situation is looking good. On the fourth day, requiring 279 runs, India is sitting tight on 140 for 2. But hell is about to break loose. In the gap. Good timing. They look to pick up three. But that's interesting. The rub came here though. Even with a direct throw, Sachin should have been safe home. But Shohei Bakhtar seemed to have moved back and collided with him to prevent the run, which actually led to Sachin being declared run out. For the crowd gathered there, a Pakistani player had intentionally stopped Indian player from completing a run. That Indian player was Sachin. There Sachin. And that was the fuse. Crowds routed, newspapers were burnt, bottles were thrown, the match was suspended. To calm the crowd down, Jagmohan Dalmia and Sachin Tendulkar actually had to come out. But whose fault was it exactly? Did Shohei Bakhtar intentionally came in Sachin's way or did Sachin inevitably collide with Shohei Bakhtar? Let's do a proper breakdown. Now the first thing is clear. Nobody, absolutely nobody expected Nadeem Khan to hit the stumps or there to be even a small chance of run out here. That's the reason you see Vasi Makram standing here, staring at the ball rather than covering the stumps. This is further proven by the simple fact that Shohei Bakhtar, who came close to the stumps, looking at a ball coming in from the deep, started moving back to cover the stumps better and avoid an overthrow run. And Sachin can be actually seen trying to veer away from the stumps here. So the question becomes, did Shohib actually see Sachin move away and match his movements along with Sachin? For this, let's go to an overview. Sachin hits the ball deep and completes two runs and at the start of the throw, Vasi Makram is standing here and Shohib Akta here. Now normally, the field of vision for humans, that is how far an area you can actually see is 120 degrees. It is subject to change with age and eye elements. Now for Sachin, this area should be further reduced due to vision restrictions due to his helmet. But for now, let's keep it at 120. Now, we will plot the directions in which both of them were watching and the vision span. And you can see that at no point did Shoheb actually turn back or was in a position to see what Sachin was doing. So was it intentional? No. Whose fault was it? Actually, nobody's. It was an accident, that's all. Now, there are many pundits who say that it's the batsman's job that he should be aware of his route to his crease. But Sachin did do it. That's why he was trying to avoid Shohei On account of this accident, Vasi Makram did have the option of calling Sachin back. But when asked in an interview, he straight away replied, Why would I call back the best batsman in their side? It was an accident, he legitimately got out, that's all. Now the rest of the story of this match and how we got here in the first place is also very interesting. It also includes a riot that happened on the last day of this test match. And we have covered all of it in our next video. But for now, 
This was the story of how an unexpected run out started a riot and how it was nobody's fault. Just fate playing mischief. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.